Fans are asking if Jason Duggar went on a honeymoon in Greece. They also speculate that he and his new bride may have broken some Duggar rules. And no, it's not the ones that you think. In early October, Jason Duggar married Maddie Grace. Fans have some accusations and perhaps misunderstandings about Jason's postnuptial plans with his new wife. On October 3rd, Jason Duggar married Maddie Grace. The two had only been engaged for a couple of months and had only been in a relationship or close enough to one by Duggar standards for three months before that. The sprawling guest list included many Duggars. So too did the wedding party. Jedediah Duggar served as Jason's best man. James Duggar, Justin Duggar, and Jackson Duggar were groomsmen. Johanna Duggar, Jennifer Duggar, Jordan Duggar, and even little Josie Duggar were among Maddie's bridesmaids. It's unclear where the idea of them embarking upon a honeymoon in Greece originated, but it is not true. However, it's not far off. Joe Duggar and his wife, Kendra, had their honeymoon in Greece, and Jason and Maddie planned their honeymoon for a different Mediterranean peninsula, Italy. Most of the Duggars have broken some of the strict fundamentalist rules that Jim Bob once espoused. In some cases, the rules were just for show. Sensational restrictions about skirts and pants were, perhaps, a smokescreen for more abusive practices within the cult. However, some of the rules are very serious. The Duggars went to great lengths to isolate themselves from any secular media. Only some of the Duggar adults have branched out into openly enjoying aspects of the society that their family teaches is overrun by the actual literal devil's influence. Jason recently shared on social media that he was, it seems, watching a film that the Duggars would never endorse. As users on Reddit recently discussed, Jason Duggar was watching Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia is a musical featuring the music of ABBA, with the beloved European pop songs woven into a story. In addition to ABBA's music consisting of bangers and, arguably, numerous gay anthems, the story itself is totally at odds with the Duggar cult. The story hinges upon a mother and daughter where neither of them know the identity of the girl's biological father, because her mother might have conceived with one of a handful of men. Not an unrealistic scenario but absolutely unthinkable in the Duggar world. One of the central tenets of the Duggar brand of Christian fundamentalism is establishing the father and husband as the ruler of one's family. Their God comes first, but it is the husband and father who essentially owns his wife and children as property until the children marry. Jason can set his own rules for his family, including how his wife may dress. The rules of this horrific cult do strongly suggest specific levels of modesty, and so much more but up until Jason gets called to account by the family's church or financially pressured by Jim Bob, he and Maddie could theoretically watch whatever they like. Jason Duggar is a 24-year-old man, but it's possible that he only gained the freedom to choose which family musicals he views by becoming married. It's also possible that he's quietly viewed other worldly media before this, of course. Above all else, the Duggars have always been known for having a large family. Over the course of their TLC reality series and specials, Jim Bob and Michelle Duggar have made their stance against birth control clear, and that led them to having 19 children. And now, daughter Jinger Duggar is opening up about how she once believed she'd have as many kids as possible herself and why her plans have changed. While talking with husband and co-host Jeremy Vuolo, Jinger told Jeremy that, when she was younger, she definitely thought she'd have a huge family the way her parents did. I think whenever I was super young, I thought that that was just what I was gonna have, she admitted. If you get married at a young age, then you'll just have as many kids as possible. Jinger was just weeks away from turning 23 when she and Jeremy tied the knot in 2016. If you're married, you're gonna have as many kids as you can until you can't have kids anymore and so I thought I probably would have a ton of kids, she said. That was the line of thinking her parents seemed to follow, so why wouldn't Jinger imagine that her own life would take the same course? Realizing that children are a blessing from the Lord, that is true, and we value children because God does, she said. Even though she acknowledged that she realized she did believe that children are a gift from God, it doesn't mean that we have to have as many as we can. So far, it appears Jinger isn't the only one in her family who has come to that realization her sisters appear to be having smaller families, too. And of course, that number is going to be different for everyone. It's like, I don't want to, you know, feel the pressure of having to have that many kids, Jinger shared on the podcast. But then at the same time, it's also just enjoying the children you have and then seeing like, okay, where would God lead us? They announced the news last week, though Jinger did mention in an interview with people that this baby could end up being her last. 
I mean, I felt like I was set with two, but I don't know. Three was kind of what we had always said was a really good number, she said. So three or four? I don't know. But I think three is what I'm leaning towards right now. Jinger Duggar Vualo isn't the only one of the 19 Duggar siblings who decided she needed to put some distance between herself and the family homestead in Arkansas to do life on her own terms. But she has inserted exponentially more distance than anyone else. After kicking off married life in Laredo, Texas, the 30-year-old and her husband of almost eight years Jeremy Vualo are West Coasters these days, having moved to Los Angeles in 2019. And while relocating to one of the biggest of cities was a trip into the unknown at first leaving Laredo this July will be one of the hardest things we've ever done, they posted at the time the couple have planted firm roots in California. I love living in Los Angeles, Jinger told E! News in January 2023. It's been amazing. We have an awesome community around us, really good solid friends that we love to hang out with. In fact, their crew came through over the summer when they moved into a bigger home in July, the couple in need of more running around room for daughters Felicity, 6, and Evangeline, 3, and their little sibling who's on the way. I love decluttering during moves but wish I had decluttered before moving this time, she reflected in July, recording the first new episode of the Jinger and Jeremy podcast in three years. Her spouse, who said that having help from their friends at least made the process more fun, agreed that moving could be overwhelming due to the sense of unsettledness and living out of boxes. But a little nomadism they've moved, multiple times in the last five years, Jinger noted, and the latest house is their third LA area address is preferable to the Cue the Sun orchestration that she experienced growing up on TV. Acknowledging that her sheltered childhood and adolescence meant she didn't see many popular movies as a kid, watching The Truman Show for the first time on her honeymoon in 2016 was a real eye-opener for Jim Bob Duggar and Michelle Duggar's sixth-born child. I looked at Jeremy and I was like, wow, that feels like my life in many ways, Jinger told E! News in 2023 as she was releasing her memoir Becoming Free Indeed. Not every detail the spouse-picking part was not right you'd other than that, I felt like, man, that's so crazy how it's so similar.